Jim Lynn mentioned earlier the fact that the court had served in Congress for 25 years, and that had impacted on the manner in which he approached federal type decisions. And in a congressional office, there is a, a very minimum of formal staffing. And a, a member of Congress assumes that if a constituent or any individual with whom he has a reason to, to deal, that if they get in touch with his press secretary, his legislative assistant, his summer intern, uh, regardless of who it is, or his driver, or if they happen to say something to one of his children, uh, that, that is of equal importance as if it came through his administrative assistant or came from the Speaker of the House. And it all comes into the congressman who ultimately makes the decision because uh, in congressional office there's one personality, there's one dominance, and there is a, a free and easy access to that one particular personality. And uh, that sort of congressional approach to, to dealing with issues was a part of his personality and I think carried over in the manner in which he uh, uh, it first began his operation in the White House, a free and open and easy access of, 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 of everybody being an equal from the standpoint of having an opportunity to gain his time and his attention.